In this video, I want to show you uh, updated Blazor to do's. Um, it is now picked uh, with Azure Functions and Cosmos TV. Also, I updated Blazor itself to latest preview and did some uh, bug fixes. So let's see what we have. This is Blazor to do's uh, client side application we can uh, go ahead fast and uh, use demo account to uh, check how it works without registration so we are now in demo user uh, which is open account for everyone uh, we have to do's we can add new to do's We can update, let's say it's done, it's updated. We can delete. Uh, we can uh, set category, let's say default or let's say home or maybe car to categorize our uh, to do's and in the future maybe filter update is working delay it is working uh, let's do some in car we see now that car has one to do if i want to delay it it will not allow because it has related to those so we have categories we have uh, to do's list we can uh, set priority also uh, we can also set uh, due date and uh, set up reminder uh, it will send uh, emails when we will let's say two hour before this due date we have profile we have uh, we can check uh, online users but uh, the user we don't count here we have feedback here we can see users feedback uh, likes and dislikes uh, this is about page okay now i will make registration let's do new account we need email because you know, we are sending um, code for registration okay now it's uh, my personal account i can have my personalized uh, to do's let's do some Let's make oil change uh, until some date. Sorry, I forgot to set category. Okay, so this is my personal now. I can change password. I will do it later. I see now myself because I am online and no one else. I can leave feedback. this is text feedback also i can like or dislike just and now it, uh, it says that my reaction was uh, like but i can change anytime and dislike 
So I will see here total all users, uh, what they are thinking, how many likes, how many dislikes. We have some statistics down here, uh, how many users are registered, how many are live, how many to do have database, how many visitors we have, it is counting IP addresses, how many visits did these IP addresses, how many likes, dislikes, and feedback do we have? Okay, it is how it works. Uh, let's uh, do now, uh, let's say I forgot. Uh, here is mistake, here should be another text. Uh, if I forgot my password, I sent a new password, I am doing recovery. This is temporal password. Okay, but uh, if I don't want uh, this hard to remember password, I can change for my new password. Here we require also email code to be sure that you are owner, you are doing this change. Maybe this is not necessary, but still. It's okay. System uh, made logout and uh, it is giving, we will check uh, that new password is good. Yeah, it changed it, that's it. Nothing more. Now I want to check, uh, I want to show you how it works. Let's go in Visual Studio. So I have, as I said, this is client side laser application, all this stuff. Shared some helper. Uh, this is context menu, as you saw. We have context menu here. Uh, this is this project. And we have uh, functions app. Here is done all these necessary functions. Uh, and we have Cosmos DB uh, classes. We do some all this uh, data access stuff, updating, deleting, and so on. Okay, and now let's check. Uh, this is a free Cosmos. TP for uh, demonstrating purposes. We can check database. I use SQL API. So this is my database. Here are my all my formations In another, my personal subscription, I have hosted uh, Azure Functions. This is Functions uh, application. So all these functions are also on Azure. It is taking some time to show. Here we'll see, let's say, category get something. We have also timers. Timers are updating uh, who is online and checking maybe it's time to send a reminder and so on. And uh, finally, Blazor itself is uh, hosted as 
a static website on a storage account. Here are all these files. So when we, if I do refresh, Laser application is served from this storage account. It is uh, two megabyte. First, uh, first visit. Then it's cached and a few kilobytes. Okay, that's it. Now let's summarize. So we have client size Blazor application, which is doing some. Uh, some things for demonstrating purposes. We work with database, which is in this case uh, Cosmos DB. We do all crude uh, operations, adding, updating, so on. And uh, backend is, uh, as you saw, backend is uh, serverless, Azure functions. And this is I think very optimal stack. I like it. Uh, before this, I used uh, I used the uh, .NET Core web application. You see, it was a web API, just regular .NET Core, and I used uh, storage uh, tables to store data. But now I think it's better to use uh, Azure Functions and Cosmos DB. It was my first experience with both of them. So far, I like it. And I think in the uh, real applications with real data, it will be also a very good uh, choice. Leave me your questions in uh, comments. Also, uh, I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you. I ask you to check site to register, add to those and uh, try how it works. I also will check how data are flow, maybe any errors, anything. So I am happy to show you this and this is uh, working from today and thank you and good luck. Laser is great tool and I want more and more people to get involved and uh, try it and enjoy like me. Thank you, good luck.